Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Welcome to your news. Now, the Fiji Meteorological Office says people need to take precautionary measures with the threat of a cyclone upon us. Fiji Met Office Director Misaeli Funaki, however, says a current low pressure system hovering over us, this has a chance of developing into a tropical cyclone, which they are closely monitoring. Funaki says based on the forecast track, the system lies north of Rotuma. He says the projected part for the system could affect the western part of Viti Levu and other parts of Vanu Levu. He says they are expecting rain and winds to pick up from Boxing Day as the system moves closer to the ground. There is still a low pressure system right now. As I said, we were waiting for the signature to come on board. Now that the low pressure system has been analyzed, then it will eventually become a tropical uh, disturbance and a depression. Then it develops into Cat 1, Cat 2, further on. So it is uh, still early stages right now. Prime Minister Vurenge Bainimarama says Christmas is a time for all Fijians to reflect. In his message to Fiji, Bainimarama has called on everyone to celebrate safely and to be kind to each other. Surrounded by his grandchildren, Bainimarama has sent out a call for common courtesy this festive season. As our society becomes more digital, we cannot afford to leave our morality in the physical world. When posting online, we must still lead with kindness, we must still demonstrate decency, and we must still be mindful of the example we set for our children. Remembering Samoans reeling from measles-related deaths, the Prime Minister is urging Fijians to get vaccinated. Many in our Pacific family are bearing unimaginable tragedy this holiday season. I ask you to join me in prayer for the Samoan families who have lost loved ones to a deadly outbreak of measles. We have a nationwide measles vaccination program underway in Fiji. I urge every family to make sure all of our children between six months and five years old are fully up to date on all of their vaccinations. Looking beyond Christmas to the new year, the ban on single-use plastic bags is also on the Prime Minister's agenda. For all those taking home Christmas groceries and goodies in plastic bags, remember, our single-use plastic ban begins on 1st January 2020. By committing to a cleaner Fiji, we protect one of God's greatest gifts, our natural world. On the mission to the world. Bani Marama made special mention of peacekeepers serving overseas, away from their families. The Forestry Ministry now has new resources to crack down on illegal logging. Permanent Secretary Pena Balena Buli says the ministry is using a new technology to address the issue. Balena Buli says illegal logging has caused a major loss to the government and the landowners in the past. The ministry is now using drones to identify illegal activities in the forest. Uh, when uh, illegal logging takes place, uh, the whole nation actually suffers. The whole nation suffers. The uh, resource owners, first of all, suffer because they are being denied uh, the um, fair returns from their resources. They're the first group of people to uh, suffer. The uh, government suffers in the form of uh, missed taxes. Uh, so uh, the trees that are being uh, logged illegally are not taxed. Fijians have been urged to rise up to the challenge of eliminating the use of plastic bags from next month. The ban on the manufacture, sale, supply and distribution of plastic bags will come into effect from 1st January in an effort to protect our environment. Ministry of Economy's Head of Climate Change, Nilesh Prakash, says the ban is seen as a step in the right direction towards preserving our ecosystem. This will also help Fiji further market itself as a plastic-free tourist destination. And of course, you know, Fiji is a touristic country, so of course, you know, we need to, uh, you know, uh, maintain our you know, natural beauty as well. So, you know, you, uh, plastic bags, uh, you know, they create, do create an nice source. So I think uh, with all that in mind, you know, this, this uh, ban has been, um, uh, you know, 
will be put in place from 1 January. And I think uh, it's about individual responsibility. The water level at the Vaturu Dam in Nandi is critically low as the dry spell continue to affect the western division. The dam supplies water to Nandi and Lautoka residents. Water Authority Chief Executive Barry Omansen says due to the lack of rainfall, they're also experiencing a low inflow of untreated water from the Vaturu Dam to the Nangando Water Treatment Plant. In an effort to maintain treated water levels at service reservoirs, Omansen says WEF will be carrying out operational work which is part of their level 1 water restriction. The authority is urging Fijians to conserve water this holiday season. Over 290 lives have been saved at sea by the Republic of Fiji Navy this year. Commander Captain Humphrey Tawake says these lives were saved in the 89th search and rescue operations carried out by his officers. Captain Tawake says they will continue to provide surveillance and carry out rescue missions when the need arise. That is a significant number. Uh, I think the awareness is working. Again, as you were aware, we worked with and signed uh, an MOU with MSEF. Uh, that is an area that we're building uh, as well, uh, working together as a consolidated uh, agencies in the way that we're trying to tackle uh, maritime safety. The Fijian Broadcasting Corporation's food drive for Christmas Day continues to receive support locally and internationally. The initiative, managed by FBC's radio station Today FM, aims to provide warm meals to those struggling on the streets of Suva. Today FM's breakfast show host Jane Vavaitamana says they've collected over $1,000 worth of food so far. It's overwhelming and uh, plus, you know, to have people, um, you know, mention that uh, this, there's this drive that's happening and then there's this, uh, this movement going around that we, we're trying to feed the uh, hungry on Christmas Day is absolutely absolutely amazing. I've got messages from the British Army. I've got some from uh, an, um, a lady from Antarctica, uh, from the U.S. We've also got some from Germany, and it's absolutely amazing the reach of uh, social media and that people are actually readily available to jump through and help. Turning overseas, Australian officials says a serious ecological impact of the bushfires will be felt for years to come. Coming up, Mbati Duo to join Melbourne Storm. And Fijian Duo Wing is set to sign for French Club. Stay with us. Ahoy, Tabua. Ang ito talitay na nabarong ay na Mbula FM. Naman doon na sir. Mbula! Alam ko noa. Iloto ka, ang talitay ka na Mbula FM. Bwede na naman doon na sir. Ni Mbula FM na ka. Nang reking ko sa Mbula FM nga. Two more Fijians are expected to join the Melbourne Storm for the 2020 NRL season. Fijian Rua and Nandrunga winger Nathanieli Narekuva will soon sign for French club Mountaban. Two of the world's tennis superstars are joining forces in New Zealand next week. Serena Williams and Caroline Wozniaki will team up in the doubles for the first time at the ASB Classic in Auckland. World Rugby insists controversial changes to the seventh series format will not be revoked. The changes will see quarter-final stages erased from the Hamilton and Sydney 7th schedule, despite anger from coaches and players. World Rugby believes the new format will deliver a less confusing final day for fans and create more opportunities and balance for women's rugby. 7th experts argue the quarter-final matches are central to the excitement generated by the series. This means the decision to erase the quarter-final stages will be counterproductive and reduce television exposure. The weather should be fair with scattered showers, especially in eastern centers, and possible thunderstorm for Christmas Day will generally be fine with a chance of showers. That is your FBC News Now. Remember to join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Cold FM. Good afternoon. Neha, 
and I'm from Karavi. And Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hamachal hai Nasori se. Mirchi FM, bhot julum. Hi, I'm Shara Pukash. Baat karta hai. Tava me Mirchi FM sab kinsi ne and Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hi, I'm Shain. I love uh, listening Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Shavi. We, We love, love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM, it's hot.